Peterson with Peterson Electric here. I'm in Bertha, Colorado with a customer. She asked me a really good question about how to know what bulbs to put in her house for more energy efficient since she's not getting a hold of incandescents. Um, and it is true, by the end of this year, you're not going to find a lot of incandescent bulbs, especially for your can lights. Um, so she got some of these products. She's got like a BR40. This could be an outside flood. This can be a PAR30. It's a can bulb. Then she's got a PAR38, which is another long neck can bulb inside. Then she got some A19 styles, which is all your typical screw-in mushroom fixtures and lamps on your floor. She got some candle tear bulbs. And she got some BR30 bulb, or excuse me, I, I forget what those are, but they're a bar bulb, a G25 for your bar lights in your bathroom. So basically she asked me to say, first of all, do I think this is a good brand? And first I said, you know, if I'm saying this right, Fiat, it looks like, or Fiat, however you say that. It's been around a long time. That brand is, is kind of like Philips. It's known. The other thing was that this thing talked about being ROHS uh, compliant, which is a restrictive of hazardous uh, stand or, or um, restrictive of hazardous substance inside the bulb. It also talked about burn hours, lumens, and years of life. So years of life is equal to burn hours, basically how long will the bulb last. But when you're talking about the lumens, it's about how bright and intensity, intense they are. The nice thing about LEDs, they now they don't have all those little piercing diodes. They've made them look more like uh, a normal incandescent can bulb. People like that frosted look. They don't like the piercing diode. They have also changed the Kelvin and the color by manipulating the stone inside. So the, the color on this is going to be warmer. People didn't like the cool sterile look because it felt like a hospital. So this is going to be a lot warmer of a, a feel. It talks about its brightness. It talks about your energy saving. The thing that I really liked about this is it also talked about the fact that this bulb is FCC rules. This is the Federal Commission control and it talks about part 15. And, it, and what that means is that they used to have a standard called LM79 and LM80 rated and that means that as stuff came from China that it was having extra um, uh, what's the word? It, it was going through a little bit more of a process to make sure that the substance control and the quality control of the bulbs were well. We weren't just getting bad product. But the other thing that's nice about these bulbs is they talk about how much energy you're saving, the 100 watts versus the 17 watts. And the other thing you want to keep in mind is that this is also says it's Energy Star rated. And the last thing I really like about this bulb is it says it's dimmable. You want to make sure your bulbs are dimmable. Now, if you take and just start putting bulbs in your house and say, oh, that was easy, I'm all done. And then all of a sudden you call me up and say, hey, Josh, how come my lights are flickering? Or how come I just ruined all these bulbs I spent hundreds of dollars worth? Well, you have to keep in mind that you have to put in new dimmers. Now, if you have a normal switch, whether it's a toggle, a decoral style paddle switch, it doesn't matter. But if you have dimmers, you have to replace them. This is a fire hazard. You will burn your home down if you don't do it right. Some products don't intermix well. And they ha I have had pictures emailed to me when the CFL compact fluorescents came out about how people had little fires happening right on the ballast. That was because they didn't change their dimmer. And so you want to make sure, I like Lutron. Lutron, I am a Lutron guy. They are really high quality. Um, their prices are fair. Now they do come standard as a three-way and a single pole option. What I like about that is I don't have to truck, uh, put on my truck single poles and another shelf with three ways. I just put one dimmer on there. And all I have to be concerned about is the color of the plate or the style if you want to toggle. But it is three-way. It is single pole rated. It is a dimmer. It does CFL, LED, halogen, and incandescent. So it does all of these. Lutron has mastered this. They are the number one dimming solution. They came up with the first dimmer about 70 years ago. So they've been in the business a long time. Um, bottom line, guys, we can help you out with that. We do replace those dimmer switches. We can help you out with any other questions. But again, I would definitely start changing over. It is a good time in the market where uh, the supply and the demand of how these incandescents are leaving, but they had to drop the price on LED. I retrofitted my house out about 18 months ago. I put in EcoQuest. I felt they were a good brand. Um, they, you, you can find them in certain locations. Um, but I spent about $850 on mine. I put in about 90 bulbs in my home, all different styles. Uh, the most expensive were the can lights, and I have a bunch of can lights. But when I did that, my payback is about 3.25 years. 
So if I take out the fact of how many bulbs I'm buying that were halogen, which were $9 a pop and they burn out within about 18 months because my kids are all constantly hitting switches, um, I'm keeping in mind that I have also the savings of that material and then in my time to go around and retrofit those bulbs. So my payback should be around three years to maybe 2.75 years. And our kids are homeschooled, so our, our lights are on a quite a bit. But again, I would urge you to start transferring over.